the Liverpool Echo does a music column every Friday that puts a lot of new bands, um, you know, lists a lot of events taking place with new bands, the, the underground music scene. Um, and, I, I, you know, with, with the new media nowadays of um, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, there's a lot of lot of connections and a lot of, uh, I mean, venues are desperate, obviously, to, to get people to come to them. So there's a lot of uh, information out there now. And, um, you know, in contrast to previous decades, I think there's a stronger, healthier um, music scene in Liverpool and certainly a lot more venues than when I was a lad. Now in the picket, you've got an in-house back line, you've got the, the infrastructure and all um, the support as well in terms of publicising your event. So we, you know, not blowing our own trumpet, but that's the reality of it. That that's what we provide nowadays for new young bands, and um, that's why we're here. I usually describe the process to bands and and, and um, suggest what they need to do. Is obviously in the first instance, you've got you've got to work hard at, at, at getting friends family, colleagues, um, enemies, and the general wider public to your gig. And that's what, ha that's what happens usually. A band will, if they're you know, committed and work hard, will get an audience that they met of their mates and colleagues and the people I've just described. And I sometimes think there's a danger that you like you, all all that people think about making music is it's about stardom or celebrity or success. Um, it isn't necessarily. I mean, you know, uh, Bob Dylan said something like, um, "You know, you find out when you reach the top that you're at the bottom." Um, I know that's a bit profound and all that stuff, but I think what what it means is like you know. All the glitters isn't gold, like people who become very wealthy and rich and famous and from um, music or it doesn't necessarily make the music any better if you only get to that stage. 